Hello, everybody, and welcome. Welcome to Monday Night. Um, I'm joined this evening by some wonderful people, and those people are Uber Bandit, Nix, Derbale, and, and first-timer special guests of the week, Ryumi. Uh, Uber Bandit, say hello to these people. Hello, these people. Tell them, tell them where to go if they want lava lamps. Um, there are lava lamps at twitch.tv slash uberbandit22 as soon as my internet stops being the poop. Mm -hmm. uh, I tried zooming growth today and just, it, no, it, it was having none of that shit. Hmm, like Taco Bells or like just general poop? Um, we're talking like post ghost pepper poop. That's... Like fiery and painful. Well, um, I'm... I'm hoping things work out good for you and your life. That sounds life. fucking terrible, by the way. <laughs> it's, it's not a good time. Don't eat ghost peppers. Hmm. Valuable life lessons right out of the gate. Um, Nick, say hello to these people. Hello, people. How are you guys tonight? They're, they're wonderful. That's what they would say if they were here in this call. Ah. Well, uh, they can type. They won't type. 30 seconds later. Derivale, say hi. Hello, everybody. Um, I don't actually know how many people are in the channel because this is one of those nights where I'm not going to pull up the Twitch chat. Uh, but later on, we'll have something special for our red friend. Well. So if you're a red player, if you're interested in red, stick around because it'll be good. We're not going to tell them. We're just going to see if they pop around. Yeah, exactly. All the wrong words are coming out of my mouth this evening, is what it's I'm fine. noticing. It made sense. We understood what you were trying to say. I don't know what the problem is, but something's wrong in the brain this evening. It's going to be one of those nights. And then, Rayumi, am I saying your name right? That would be Rayom. Rayom. Yeah. Tell these people where you stream and who you are and where to find you in a link in chat. Happy Monday, people. Uh, find me at twitch.tv slash Varen. And he's going to put a link in chat in a second. Um, click that. Because he also spells that really funny. Go there. Follow him. He's a good streamer. I hang out there sometimes. Um, it's good stuff. It's good stuff. And thank you for joining. I know you've been, you've hung out on the channel for a long time. And so it's good to finally get you on the channel. I agree. Thanks for having me. You guys are quite entertaining. So... I don't know. I guess we could start right off by uh, I'll give a little piece of news that has really nothing to do with P99. And I don't know if anyone even saw it because I didn't read anything on the forums about it. But Brad McQuaid did another interview with Boogie2988 yesterday, last night. And he was talking about Pantheon. And I basically can let you guys know that they need money. They need, are looking for a real funder. And development has pretty much halted due to lack of funds. I think the term is investor. Investor? I don't think, I don't think funder is a thing. Look, I gave a disclaimer about five minutes ago. <laughs> the... It's all you oil tycoons out there. Make this happen. All the wrong words are going to be coming out of my mouth this evening. But yeah, if you do have a shit ton of money and you're looking for something to do with it, go to Pantheon's website, get in touch with them. Um, I don't remember their, any of their email addresses, but they'll, I'm sure it's real easy to give them money. <laughs> Go there, find a way, and just give them everything they need. It will make all of us very, very happy people. Because we'll have another game to play? Uh, yeah. Okay. I mean, I'm hoping, supposedly, people that... People, if, you, if you're playing Classic EverQuest in 2014... Odds are you're going to like the kind of game that this guy is making. I mean, Pantheon, Pantheon's targeted 
at people like us. It's a, it's a social based, community based MMO. It's it's going to be the kind of game that you're not going to be able to do by yourself, and that's good. Yeah, that's that's why we came out and supported it so hard and so strongly when uh, when we heard about it. And that's why we did the the pledge drive and all that stuff because we felt like. Um, he was really trying to make a game that that captured that feeling that you got the first time you played EverQuest and this, this community and uh, the difficulty and all that stuff, which is just something that's really not there in modern day MMOs anymore. So if that's the kind of game you're into, if you're listening to a 14 year old Elf Sim stream, which you are, you should probably go check this game out and maybe put some money into it. All right, so now we... Oh, and you can also see the whole interview by going to Boogie's channel on YouTube. He put it up earlier today. So if you missed the live stream, it's on YouTube over there. Um, Let's move on to P99 stuff. We all like P99 stuff. Actually, no, let's do weather real quick. Why is it fucking snowing again? It is snowing. Why is that a thing? Because you guys... Um, no, it, up it's 95 today. My folks just got back from Hawaii, so I'm thinking that's the problem. It was 60 having... degrees yesterday. Are you having yeah. beautiful weather? N no. It, you know Are what? You Never mind. No. no. <laughs> Actually, when, when a druid and a warrior love each other very much and then drink a little alcohol uh, during the gestation period. Are you giving our stream a talk about the druids and the warriors? Look, I think he's I'm trying to say he's a P99 Rangers, baby. This is like the elf sim version of the birds and the bees. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can that be a thing? Can we go to, like, the next time a player gets reported for, like, sexual harassing another player, we can sit them down and tell them about the druids and the warriors? <laughs> when a Bixie and a griffin love each other very much. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Oh, god damn mm -hmm. it. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, there, Vale. Yes. What are you doing over there? I was waiting for you to... <laughs> well, I thought maybe we could just briefly touch on... Because I really don't have any talking points tonight. I, I came really unprepared. And I'm kind of assuming you did, too, since you're starting out like this. Um, to, be fair, touch... to, to be fair, we did back-to-back Q&As. This is true. This is, uh, yeah, we went, we went so pretty I hard. Mean, we hit a lot of topics Friday and Saturday. Yeah, I think we literally did like four hours of streaming between those two days uh, with just the two of us and nobody else. So, well, well we had. And it was doing the, the questions on the blues. And we had Zade for Friday night. Oh, and we had Zade for Friday. I forgot about Okay, so, yeah. all right. All right so I'm, I'm making myself out to be, making us out to be more, more of a thing than we actually are. Um, but so, you so guys are a thing? About, uh, I thought we could talk about our new raid policy that made such a splash about a week ago. Um, alright. <laughs> Let's talk about that. So No one is allowed uh, to kill dragons. New raid policy. One of the things we did was, and this is a really big change from the way that things have worked on P99 um, pretty much since the beginning of the server. Um, basically, when, when you're a raid guild and you train the shit out of another raid guild, uh, whether or not it was an accident, purpose doesn't really matter oh god uh we want those raid guilds to work out their disputes on their own so if i'm guild a and i screw up guild b's engage guild b is going to come to my leadership and they're going to say you fucked us out of track it on and the guild a is going to go well yeah maybe we did like let's try and work something out um we're pretty much not going to intervene at all. I mean, even if we see shenanigans going on, we're probably not going to step into that situation. We're going to make the leadership of those guilds aware of it, and we're going to let them work it out on their own. Uh, we think it's a, a better way to promote community, and it just really encourages players to be able to mediate their own issues. It gives them that sense of being able to work out their own shit. We don't have to step in all the time and spend many hours looking over fraps and looking over logs and looking at our logs and their logs and basically taking our CSR time away from the players 
because the the raiding guilds and all their stuff it takes the longest to deal with uh, but they're also the smallest percentage of the server so we thought that that would be a better way to handle all this and so far it's working out pretty well and I know that class R uh, the BDAs and the Takens I know that these guys kind of already did this uh, within class R uh, Class C, obviously, was, was still mostly in the, if we do something bad, like we're going to go to the end of it. Um, but now it seems like they're able to communicate and work with each other without needing us to step in, which is great. And we also want Class C and Class R to work with each other. And it's just going to bring everybody together. It's going to put a little bit of unicorn and a little bit of rainbow into the PI9 raid scene if we force people to sit down and talk it out. <laughs> and we all want a little more rainbow, don't we? <laughs> I don't know. Just just the right amount of rainbow. I know Red Server doesn't want any of your rainbow or unicorns. No, they don't. No, they don't want my Care Bear hugs either. Which is fine. Hmm. Red, Red Server, they don't have to have any of that. No, they're getting a whole different bag of, of, of goodies. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, if, if you didn't listen to anything Darabail just said, basically, we don't want to have to hold your hands through every little issue. So, put on your big boy pants and uh, settle that shit like men between yourselves. Does that mean we can have a PvP war in the in the arena? I would absolutely you let you guys do, you do that. As long as both sides agree, we literally don't care anymore. I would support rap battles to, to <laughs> settle all disputes Absolutely. if Absolutely. both guilds agree to it. Yeah, as long as they both agree, like, we don't care anymore. And <laughs> I think Sirkin, Sirkin put it a lot more bluntly when he said, like, we're not going to hold your hand anymore. And I think that, I I, mean, I agree with everything he said in that sentence. Like, it's, it's no longer going to be, well, they did this to us, but no, they did this to us. Like, well, let's go run to mom and dad to find out what we can do. And it's like, that's not going to happen anymore. And when someone brings a raid dispute to us, the first thing we're going to ask is, have you tried to work it out with the other guild? And if they have, great. We're going to ask you guys what you tried to do to work it out. And if that doesn't really seem like you guys tried, we're going to make you go sit back down again and try harder. <laughs> Pretty much. And so far, I like the way that's uh, that's been working out. Yeah, it's Turbo, been working well. Turbo has a question some... here. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh no! It says he says if a guild is being screwed over, how do they, how do they have any power to bring a guild that's screwing them over into account? Well, see, here's the thing: if one guild is trying and another guild is making no effort at all, we're going to motherfuck the guild that's making no effort at all. That's their incentive to mediate it amongst themselves. Right, right. When someone has a legitimate dispute against your guild. It needs to be addressed without us having to step in. If we do have to step in because you just won't address it, we can guarantee you're going to have a bad time. <laughs> because this is what we want you to do. And we understand that some people feel like, well, we don't have any power to do this and that. Like, we're giving you the power when we say it needs to be worked out. Like, we don't want it to be brought to us. And it's in both parties' best interest to try and figure it out on their own. I mean, you have leaders and officers for a reason. And when one person from a guild talks to another guild's officer or leader about shit that happened, either they help you get shit fixed, or it becomes an issue of they're not doing anything. Mm -hmm. Pretty much that simple. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Hmm. So yeah, I wanted, I wanted to hit that briefly tonight, because um, there were... I, after I made the post, I mean, it's actually the second time I made that post. This actually went into effect a while ago. Uh, but this, I think, is the first time that it actually got seen by a lot of people. And I don't, I don't think a lot of people thought that we were serious uh, when we did this with IB and TMO a while back. Uh, they probably looked at it and thought, like, well, pff, that's never going to happen. Like, they're getting Darabelle dreaming. Like, but no, we're not. We're really fucking serious about this. And, uh... It seemed like uh, half the people that I talked to after people were made aware of that were like, this is a great idea. We support this. It's fantastic. The other half were like, this is never going to work. No one's ever going to cooperate. Um, 
but like they absolutely will. And if they won't, then we'll deal with that. If someone's not going to work with you on a dispute, like we'll come in and we'll help to mediate that. Uh, but it's not going to be, if you have to default to our judgment, if there is no other option and you guys literally want both guilds to burn in fire before you'll come to some kind of compromise, like, we can make that happen too. Like, we have no problem lighting both guilds on fire if you guys can't cooperate. It's it, trying to think about a good way to put it is like it's basically taking a step back for the GMs from the guild disputes where before it's something bad happens, it gets reported to the GM. The GM has to figure out the story between the two and come to a decision. It was Here taking it's taking a ridiculous amount of time. Yeah. And it really was. It was taking up just way too much time, too much CSR time. And it was taking that time away from other people who need help. And so now the policy stands something more like uh, the issue happens, they have to deal with it between each other, and either they reach a resolution that's good for both or they don't, and then the issue that there isn't compromise being met is brought to a GM. I think I agree with what you just said. Sounds legit. Yeah. It's, it's kind of a weird concept to think about, but the short version is you're expecting people to solve their problems and, you know, see that there's another person at the other side of that keyboard. Yeah, no, I think it's a pretty good summary. And we've been trying to move towards that system for other things too. It hasn't just been raid disputes, um, but player disputes. Like we're all, the, the new thing is player mediated disputes. That's the new, uh, that's the new thing on P99. So are there are there mediators or just players are their own mediators? I feel like we're all adults and players need to be their own mediators whenever <laughs> it's possible. I was about like, to say that. I don't, I don't see a reason why people can't work shit out between the two of them and only default to a guide or a GM's call when they absolutely have to. I just want to point out there are a lot less people looking for a courtyard group than there were <laughs> that's for sure <laughs> because I, I still I'm, I'm 100% sure all those people were definitely not poop socking VS um, I have a question when VS spawned did all those people run down to VS's room to kill him when VS spawned all hell broke loose and the horde was on the move everybody engaged him uh TMO had FTE a couple times. He ping pong. There was like three or four FTE messages. He ended up being fought in the in that pit room, where he got down to like seven percent, and then life tapped his way back up to like forty five <laughs> or fifty percent before finally getting killed. I was really expecting Team NPC to get a point. It looked like a white. Yeah, it that was uh, yeah. We, we we got it, but he kept running around and killing the low hit point aggro people who were not actually fighting him. It was lovely. Is there a video of this somewhere? Uh, there is not. It literally happened like 15 minutes after I ended the, that Q and A, and um, I didn't. I didn't. I wasn't. I just didn't stream it. I knew it was going to happen. I told Darabir, I'm like VS in 15 minutes, and. Hmm. Uh, and I, I was on beta, so I did not give a fuck. Oh, to anyone who's wondering why I didn't pop on beta, I'm not an asshole. When I got a new, the new computer, I gave Rogan the info he needed so that Sirkin could log into P99, and he forgot to update it for the beta server. So I had an unauthor unauthorized account. Well, we had fun <laughs> without you, so... Well, I'm glad. I'm glad. We had, a, we had a grand old time. We killed a rat in Dragon Necropolis. Well, that's not just any rat. That's a Velius rat. That's a Velius rat, yeah. Was is that kind of like a bunny? No, this is not like a bunny. This is like a uh, six foot tall, seven foot tall, maybe even eight foot tall uh, red con to level 60 rat. Oh, wow. Then it doesn't have a name? I can't remember his name. It's some sort oh, okay. Of <laughs> uh, not anything like the cute cuddly snow bunnies I like them those are cute I have a feeling Green Grocer wherever his heart is is going to be slow
slaughtering these snow bunnies like a goddamn poacher in the middle of a national forest. I bet he is. Get that rabbit meat. Mm hmm. Shout out hello to Tulpa. Tulpa. Help, I'm being trained. That one mob? Yeah, that one mob's gonna get me. Well, don't worry, I have it frapsed. Oh, good. <laughs> good. Did you see? I wasn't even close to it. Well, I don't know who brought it. I just know that. Uh, I'm just kidding. I'm in the danger zone. You are in a danger zone. You're at a zone line. You betcha. That's some of the dangerous zones. It is on the tracks. Um, hey, chat room. I'm curious. Are absolutely any of you from the red server? Just one person would make me happy right now if we have just one person from red. So I'll give a second for that message to get across. And hopefully there is somebody who uh, is from the red server. And So hey, all this red news will not go wasted? Right. Pretty much. <laughs> um, where's Gunter? Gunter, I have not been in the... Uh, I've not done reimbursements in a few days. But I promise you that I'm going to get in there either tonight or tomorrow, and then I will take care of your petition as well as a bunch of other people's petitions. Um. So yeah, I feel like there's probably not anybody from the red server here. Yeah, they don't like us very much right now. That's okay. <laughs> I have to happy. see what my dog's trying to kill. I'll be right back. The right. petition form is literally a mess right now, so if you have a petition in, uh, I know that I hit some today. I've been trying to clear it out. Um, I cleared it out, like, not that long ago, like, maybe a week ago. Mm -hmm. I got it down to, I think, six or seven pages. And now it's back up to 14. So it stacks up quick, um, but it'll get done. Um... Mm -hmm. Well, that sounds wonderful. Oh. oh, you know what? I am curious, actually, if you have anyone that's newer uh, player-wise in the stream. I bring this up mostly because, one, you just shout out Arani for being cool and dropped a really nice post. In my <clears throat> great thread, it's it's going down. If you're new, have that question, have answer. It's... It's my way of saying I want to answer questions because apparently I did not get enough after uh, Saturday. Are you having a stroke? What? Because your words sounded more fucked up than my words have sounded. You <laughs> know what? I'm honestly trying to do way too many things at once. Uh, what Uber Band is trying to say is ask questions if you have them and he will get them for you. Yeah, you can ask them now and after now there's that thread. And After then I'll answer now. questions there. After now sounds like a very scientific <laughs> term to measure time. So what type of questions are you looking to field? Um, track and field. No, um, <laughs> just general, like, like, I dropped it in the, uh, which I think is a new section, the whole new player section thing dummy. That is a new section on the forums for new players to introduce yeah. themselves and meet other new players. I yeah, went in there and it's like, why is there not a simple question, simple answer thread? And so I made one. I like that. That was good thinking, Uber Bandit. Yeah. I'm a fan of that thread. Graced <laughs> by such presences as Nilbog and Darabale himself. Nilbog does actually have a post in that thread. Nilbog is a real person, in case any <laughs> of you were wondering. He's a rare spawn, but he's a real <laughs> One he's... of these days, I'm going to have him on stream. Is the getting started section a no trolling section? Yes, absolutely. Mm. Because you know there there are a lot of players who who would they like want to know where why don't I have a compass? Where's my target circle? You know that kind of stuff. Yeah, people with stupid questions. I'll I'll take the the quote unquote stupid questions. It's fucking well, mad. I don't know that it's a stupid question. If it's for new players to P99 and they came from mm -hmm. another emu that had all that crap, that's mm -hmm. a good question. That's it what is. I mean. It's I'm using air quotes, but, you know, my hands are not mean, inside my microphone. Your fingers are making those bunny ears. <laughs> More like, well, like stupid, bunny ears. Like it's not that it's a stupid question, but it's the type of question that it's been asked over and over and over again, so if you're not new, 
you're sick of hearing it. But if you are new, you really have no way of knowing except for form searching, which nobody does, but we all expect people to do. Yep. And uh, cause I don't form search shit. Nope. I, I, I asked Derribale, I asked GM chat, and if I don't get an answer, I just shoot from the hip. Yeah. <laughs> that's 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 accurate. Yeah. Well, even when we were doing the blue Q&A last Saturday, we had people asking about why there wasn't a map and if it'd be a thing, and target rings and all that jazz. So there's a lot of people that just aren't bold enough to ask the questions or just don't know and just been kind of living with it. Well, there's a lot of times too where where they'll if they're looking for information and they click on a few posts and they see people getting trolled really bad, it's like I think that would turn people off. Yeah. Yep. One of the so, must-haves yeah. for the red server, I think, is target radicals. Oh my God! I know so many people <laughs> that would lose their <laughs> minds if we added target radicals to red. I'm so trolling. Oh God damn you! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, there's a red circle on the ground, but I don't see anybody. Oh, he's probably 300 feet above me. Hmm. Do did the targeting circles do that? Would they show up on yep. the ground? Mm-hmm. Yep. Was... Yep. That's Act. that's what they're for. Wow. That's the big deal. Interesting. Yeah, VZTZ had target rings, and it was horrible. <laughs> yeah, that sounds terrible. Like if ugh, no. you could never hide anywhere. Yeah, that sounds like a great way to fuck over wizards shadow know, stepping around. Do we know who Scotia is on the red server? Nope. Um, that's, see, that's a bad question to ask, because now that we're all like, who the fuck is Scotia? Like, it makes us all seem like fucking assholes if we don't know who it is. Um, I don't know who Scotia is. Dude, just been like, oh yeah, Cerebell, the Scotia guy, like, we know it's him. It's okay, though. But, I know he's not listening, because he just sent me a whole lot of tells and um he just he just offered to let me join team speak which means he knows <laughs> i know for sure he does not know that i'm streaming and talking to you hey, guys hey. <laughs> did you let him know that we despise going into other guild events team speaks no no i didn't i haven't really responded to anything He's like, can I ask you a loot and scoot question? And I was like, sure, buddy. And then it just, so many questions. And then you got wall of text in, and you're just like, eh, well, maybe this isn't uh, something I need to respond to. Right it now. just kept coming. I've been there, I understand. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> Talk to me, I'll went, do it. I'm ready. I went into, see, I, I, I try to avoid, like, as best as I can, I try to avoid other chat programs, like, Mumbles and team speaks and vent. Like I'm just not a fan. I don't like uh, going into a guild's team speak to have a fucking round party discussion on whatever the fuck it was that they called me in there for. But I had to go into mumble <laughs> last night. And why did not, you go into mumble last I'm not night? Not going to give a bunch of details because I don't want to. Uh, hmm, how do I put this? I don't want to encourage this person to do more to get more attention was somebody but, like come join me in a private channel and then they offered you nudes for favoritism oh no. that sounds is, is that a thing is that something no. that can be done no, but i will say that that's <laughs> this happened is and i know it's happened to you too circuit um, <laughs> no i had to go into mumble and i had to basically tell somebody that they were on their their they were at the edge of their rope and they needed to clean it up Oh, I think I know exactly. What yeah, you know about. exactly. What I'm like. And I was gonna just talk to him in game, but like when I messaged him in game, they were like, "Come into Mumble right now," and I was like, oh, I'll... "I guess I can do that." Oh God damn it! God damn it! <laughs> so not banned. Oh, here we go. Hijinx wants to know: Can you fill me in on what Project 1999 is? I used to play EverQuest frequently, but have been out for it out of it for many years i'm really sorry i know that was actually a legitimately important question because i heard the first half of it but oh. really quick sergan did you say not banned i said is he, he's not banned correct so he's definitely banned he screwed up after we had the talk and now he's, he's done oh that's sad that is sad no i agree that's like sad. i like i do i gave him like the dairy bale second chance right like something that a lot of people get and most people do well with but and like time out well. just so people know the Dare Bale second chance isn't something you get after one screw up. 
No, right. <laughs> right. <laughs> the Daredevil second chance is when you fucked up like multiple times and like you're getting your. Um, but I'm sorry, Nix. Ask ask that question again because it actually sounded like a. Good it question. was a super important question, and I have the answer queued up. Ever or Project 1999 is a free classic EverQuest server that sees over a thousand concurrent individual players every single night. Uh, we don't allow third-party programs like ShowEQ or MacroQuest. We don't allow real money transactions of any kind. Server is 100% free forever. There's no station store pay-to-win gimmicks or anything like that. Server's currently in the Kunark expansion, but Velius is on the way. Velius beta is open right now. Um, what else do you need to know? I don't think you need to know anything. Go to www.project1999.com. It'll have everything you need to know to get started. Is it getting they started? Need... Link um, on the producer's... side. It's red. Producer's note: the beta is not currently open for well, new. Well, it's well, open. It's... You just can't copy it, your you character. Copy. The beta's um, live. It's you just can't buggy. copy, but that will be active again soon. Okay, because I doubled it today when I logged in and it didn't work. It's it's known. Rogan has let it be known that it is known. It's <laughs> known. It's gonna get fixed. Uh, Rogan Rogan does so much. You guys have no idea. He uh, he picked <laughs> Rogan up the, does a lot. He does a real <laughs> lot. He picked up some extra shit and put it on his plate this afternoon, and we're all very 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 happy that yeah. he's doing those things. Yeah, you should, you guys should have heard me earlier today. Like I was like a little fucking girl when I was talking to Rogan about this. Next, I, I, I was like, oh my god, good. you're doing this for me, thank you. Uh, I lost my shit for nothing. What happened? I, I said I was, I'm hoping you were referencing what I thought you were referencing. Yeah, I was. Okay, thank god. <laughs> <laughs> Rogan does a lot. Rogan does a lot, this is true. <laughs> so yeah. It actually, like, it, it used to be a joke, right? Because of the the circuit thing, mm. I know some of you guys probably haven't seen that. Everybody should have seen it by now. I just watched it today. <laughs> but Rogan legitimately does do a lot, and he has been busting his ass for probably the last six months, um, just doing fucking everything. And it's crazy the amount of work that guy does for P ninety nine. So he would and... do a lot, and everybody needs to really appreciate uh, the time that he's putting in. And in some I mean, cases, that goes for all of the devs, too. It goes for Nilbog, and it goes for Hanor. Um, I was just specifically talking about Rogan, because there's that Rogan does a lot joke out there that... Well, if you've heard the video, you know what it's about. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And in some cases, he even does work on Red 99. Because that, yeah, yeah. I can confirm, Rogan does give a fuck. Fucks were given today, people. Fucks were given, for sure, for sure. Sadly. I mean, I mean, we don't have any red people in the chat, so like nobody's gonna care. But like those changes, they're coming fucking soon, like really fucking soon. So, and it's because it's because Rogan does a lot. Hmm. Hold on a second. Can you? I'm assuming you're not on the red server. What me? No. Lots of PvP. All right, I'm going to red real quick, and then. I'm going to tell these nerds we're going to talk about their server for a few minutes and to get over here if they want to hear it. Yeah, I mean, maybe if, if they come, maybe we can even, we'll, we'll give some hints on what exactly it is we're doing. Like, I feel more comfortable revealing a little bit more about that now that I know that it's a thing. So maybe we're not going to tell them exactly what's happening, but maybe we can give them just a point them in the right direction sort of thing. I'm a big fan of that. I think they'll be really happy. As long as we can tell them that something is actually uh, going to be a thing, I'm pretty sure they'll be happy. Sam Wise is on. Maybe I should just send him a tell. So while you're doing that, let's let's do the thing we kind of all forgot to do. Um, hello, hi, Jinx. Welcome to the server and P99 in general. We love you. Stay here. But uh, basically, if you played a request during the first few years of its life, that's what you have here, except it's free. Um, the difference. And there's are no station store, no boxing. Yeah. Literally. 
don't buy gear or I will end up banning you and it sucks. You don't have to look at your spell book that. That should be classic. But, you know. We um, pretty much follow the exact same rules they did on live, only we're a lot better at enforcing them. Pretty much. <sighs> Talk for like two more minutes. I want that shiver back to eat you. Uh, I was hoping it would attack. Yeah, I wanted it to attack him too. Not going to be a thing. Oh, man. But let me see something. More importantly, if you were to kill Chewie right now, that'd be awesome. You probably should kill Chewie right now. Because I've heard he does mean <laughs> things to people in Guck, even the Lobies. It's I funny, we were actually just too. talking about this, me and Circuit, about Chewie. Um, and you know what? I'm actually not going to say what I was going to say because I don't want to encourage him to get worse. Yeah, no, we can't do that. And I feel like if I ruined his image, that it would encourage him to do even worse. So, I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. Yeah, I joined Red, and the OOC channel was a lot of that guy's goal in life, or he makes it his mission to grief people until they leave the server before they hit level three. I will say this. I will say this. Uh, and hopefully he doesn't watch this stream and turn it up to the max. Chewy, actually not that bad. Not that bad at all. Um... He makes himself seem worse because that's his persona. But in reality, it's not as bad as he makes it out to be. Um, can I enter a uh, Twitch TV petition that there's somebody kind of freaking out and shouts in East Common Lands right now? What do uh, we mean freaking out? Um, I hope Rogan and Darabell will um, perform fellatio on me. Oh, my God. Um, I bet I know exactly who that is, Sergeant. I bet I could point it out without even being in the fucking game. Stacks of money. Darabelle, you're a bitch. <laughs> so, that'd be great. <laughs> Family server and all, you know. What's his, what's his character name? Stacks of money. <laughs> I know exactly who that is. <laughs> 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 hmm. Yes. Confirmed I'm a rat. Oh man, and Renny converting people to Dark Elf. Shocking. Hey, Sirkin, would you like to P ban ad account and hang on, I'll put it in Skype. I don't want to say it over the stream, who's my account name? Uh, well, here's the thing I just crashed trying to switch servers. Oh my god. So, you gotta give me a second. What good are you if you just crash every time I need you to ban somebody? Very little. But here's the thing. You're a big boy now. You should be doing your own bands. Look, it's okay. I'll grab one of the guides. One of the guides will do it. Ah. Oh, poor Darabell. You're never going to learn if you don't do it yourself, buddy. Look, all right. I'm going to come clean to everybody on the stream right now. I am fully immersed, at least for today, in World of Warcraft vanilla on fucking Emerald Dream. And I'm playing with a pal. And that's why I'm distracted tonight, and that's why I can't ban this person. So I'm just, I, you guys can stage an intervention, whatever you want to do. I'm playing WoW. It's, ha it's happening, it's a thing. It's classic WoW. Actually, it's Phoenix classic, which means it's shittier than real classic. <laughs> but, <laughs> I mean, but that's a thing. That's a thing. You look at WoW, what, in vanilla for no expansion, and you look at it now, it's a completely different fucking game. Oh, yeah, it is. Fun fact, though, they're actually getting um, Stactrius overflows because the numbers for DPS and health and all that have gotten too high that literally it's breaking the video game. That's and brilliant. they have to, uh, I think in the next expansion or the next patch or something, they're going to basically downscale all the numbers. They're basically cutting inflation by removing the zeros because it was literally destroying the video game. Um, I yeah, I mean, that doesn't surprise me, and I, I honestly lost interest in World of Warcraft after the Burning Crusade came out. Uh, like, the way it happened for me was, um, I quit playing WoW, like, before TBC came out, and then, uh, after it came out, I had a buddy who was like, look, you gotta come back and play, like, there's all this great stuff. And I ended up getting, uh, an account paid for me to play, and I was like, okay, like, if it's gonna be free, like, I'm out, I'll try it out. Uh, I logged back onto my 60 character who was really well geared and I had a really good reputation and I was really great in PvP uh, and I started doing the Burning Crusade and was just like 
no, like, yeah. not interested. And right, part of it was because, like, I was wearing almost best in slot gear in all of my different equipment slots on my rogue. And I found, like, my first quest item that I got in the Outlands was better than all of my other gear. And I was just <laughs> like, well, that, like, I just put thousands of hours into this character, and it's all fucking useless because of this expansion. Like, that's A+. Plus. Yep. Don't and worry, though. Part, you get to do it all over again. And right. And then part of it was just because, like, they changed the game so much. And it just got worse as time went on. Like, if, I, I probably could have lived through the Burning Crusade. But yeah. then by the time they did the Wrath of the Lich thing and then they did the talent revamp and like all this stuff and I was just like, no, like I can't. You know, there aren't yeah. even talent trees anymore. You pick no, one no. of three options every X levels. Yeah, I think that's retarded, personally. I mean, some of that, it's okay. Like, I can see why the thing is it as good as a talent system. No, but I mean, it's not the worst. However, they're also selling max level characters. Like, that's a thing. Like Blizzard yeah, and Yeah, I saw that. Just, I, yeah, you can like just pay to get like a level ninety or whatever. Yeah. Wait, yeah. What do you have to pay to get a level ninety? I think it's like fifty characters. bucks or something Jesus. like that. <laughs> you get like a blank level ninety from Blizzard, like a a Blizzard sanctioned level ninety for fifty bucks. <laughs> In fact, if you just buy the new expansion, you get a free level ninety. What? They just, they just throw one in. They're just like, fire expansion? That's cool. Like, here, take a max level character. Like, no problem. <laughs> oh, Uncharted Entry, thank you for hitting the follow button. I appreciate the absolute hell out of you doing that. I have a question. Can we talk at all about the, uh, the pathing slash training issues in Sebelis that have been going on recently? Um... What do you want to say? Um, uh, we could acknowledge that it's a thing, and I think people the best need thing... to be really careful in Zeppelin. Yeah. yeah, I was about to say, I think the best thing to do would just be to tell people to be really careful, like Surf was just saying. Um, we are aware it's a problem, and I know that it's being worked on because they've been talking about it um, in CSR chat. So, we know it's a thing. It's We're trying to get it fixed. Um, I'm... Mm, well, I'm not going to say that. Uh, I think they might know why it's happening, and they might know a way to fix it. So, Yeah. Yeah, that's all a thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, god damn it. All right. Oh, we have we have oh, one person from I, Red. I do want to add. I do want to add uh, in regards to Sebelis pathing. Um... Because everyone at this point is aware that this is a thing that's happening, we're not offering reses for, to people who get ganked by crazy trains in Seb. Like, if you're going to level there, be careful. Keep your mobs rooted, that kind of thing, um, so that they don't go and path through the whole dungeon and bring a rape train on you. All right, we've got some red folks here now. Uh, we got Salem, Rikers, Jebekin, uh, Gimpy Emu... And maybe a one or two that I missed, just in case I missed anyone. Well, Sirk and sorry if he missed you, Red. Uh, we just wanted to say that we... Well, actually, you know what, Sirk, why don't you start off? Um, you, said it, you said it really we, well, uh, the Rogan does a lot thing. <laughs> we, we are... Uh, all right, yeah, yeah, first of all... Hmm. <laughs> I wasn't planning on that. Okay, so you guys, Rogan does a lot. <laughs> All right, we all know that Rogan works really hard, and a lot of you guys think that Rogan maybe doesn't really care about the Red Circle. So I'm going to tell you guys a story. This is actually a really good way to do it. I'm going to tell you guys a story about the Red Changes and the XP nerf and all that stuff. So when we had initially looked at this, um, we've wanted the XP Wait, bonus. Wait, can you out. use animal names instead of player names? Or, like, animal because types? Use animal types. I wasn't types. actually going to use any player names because it doesn't involve any players, but... Um, but now you can use it for staff people's. I don't do you know. want me to just, like, randomly mix in? Look, some, like, yeah, just players? tell your story, but mix in different types of animals somehow. Different types? Like, are you talking about, like, pachyderms and, and reptiles? Or do you mean, like, alligators and elephants? Alligators and elephants, please. Okay, okay. Thank you. Um, all right, so when we were first initially looking to do this... Um. 
<laughs> when we were initially looking to do this, uh, I mean, basically, uh, we've we've thought for a while, and when I say me, we, I mean uh, gorilla, elephant, big bear, <laughs> <laughs> and fucking and fucking dire wolf. Um, we, Game of Thrones animals, please. We wanted to take the XP bonus out for a while. Um, honestly, it was a mistake to leave it in for as long as it was left in for and not do it properly, not implement something uh, that was actually sustainable and worked for a long period of time. So and basically the way that this worked was uh, we were talking about this and it, you know, I put it into a thread in CSR discussion. Uh, I have a list of server integrity critical fixes. Uh, it's in a thread, things that need to get done. One of those things was uh, fixing XP on red. And we were sitting around one night, and it got brought up in a Skype call. And we just said, all right, fuck it. Let's just, you know, let's do it now. Let's just turn it off. Uh, we'll get rid of the XP, and, you know, we're going to implement something later on. But for right now, we just need to cut these kids cold turkey and just get them off the XP bonus right now. Uh, and that's exactly what happened. The XP bonus was shut off literally in the middle of the night. It was like 3 o'clock in the morning when this happened. Um, well, it was like 3 o'clock in the morning for me. And um, after that, we went about planning exactly what we wanted to do with additional changes, including XP, and how we wanted to implement that and when we wanted to implement it and what exactly that was going to do. And we had this big plan behind it, and we still do. Um, and basically, uh, I went to one of the devs, and I had gotten a, a rough outline of a timeline for how long these changes would take to put in. Um, and it, it was a relatively short amount of time. It wasn't going to be weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks. Um, but as we all know, you know, real-life stuff happens, and that takes priority over EverQuest and EverQuest development. Um, so that just didn't pan out. It just didn't happen. Um, this person got busy. They weren't able to code the changes in. And we were kind of in this limbo stage where we didn't really have anything to tell you guys, which sucked for us because you guys were all pissed off and you wanted your XP back. We were telling you it was going to come back, but it was going to be different and we couldn't reveal anything. So it was frustrating for us as a staff to, to know that you guys were hurting and know that the red server was in this bad phase of its life. Uh, and not being able to do anything about it. Um, so the other night after our Q&A stream, uh, I went to Rogan and I said, look, uh, you know, this person's not available right now. It's been a while. We didn't really intend to have this happen. Um, is there any way that either I could code this in or we can get a community member to code it in or we could go to Hanar and see if he could code this in? Um, and he got back to me this morning and was basically just like, so what exactly did you want to do here, here, and here? And I, I let him know what we had talked with Nilbog about, with me, not Nilbog, I'm sorry, what uh, Raging Tiger and fucking Panda Bear <laughs> and fucking Monkey had talked about uh, to implement these changes. So I went back to uh, Raging Gorilla, and <laughs> Raging Gorilla was like, well this is what it's going to take to implement, blah, blah. Uh, long story short, this part anyway, the rest of the story has obviously been really long. Long story short, um, these things are happening very soon. And it's all because of the grace of Rogan. He took the time out. And he still has a ton of other things to work on. I know for a fact that right now, as we speak, there are this, 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 and this that are all still in development and still need to get coded for both servers. But, he put a bunch of shit on hold today. I mean, Big Bear put a bunch of shit on hold today so that he could help other people get their own salmon out of the river instead of him just eating his own salmon. By the way, animal names for staff members, worst idea ever. <laughs> but, but yeah, so basically he, he took the time out of what he was supposed to be doing and said, all right, I am, I'm going to crack this out for you guys, and we're going to make this work. Um... So those changes will be going live very soon. Uh, and we're super excited about it. Uh, we actually, we had uh, another idea for one of our changes. Uh, Rogan had some input on that. I'm sorry, Big Bear had some input on that. And um, he, I can't keep a straight face. 
and he he uh, he had some good input on that for a way that we can modify that to make it better. And I'm actually really excited about that specifically. Uh oh, that's really cool. Um, and we wanted to talk about we wanted to just not just tell you guys that this is coming soon, which it is. Uh, we also wanted to maybe give you guys some hints on what exactly we were doing uh, to try and make the red server better. Um, so one of those things that you guys have probably already figured out at this point is that we're putting in a group bonus. Uh, that's definitely happening. That's a thing. Um, in addition to the group bonus, we're going to have a static bonus so that when you're just running solo, uh, you're going to get a little bit of extra XP and that's going to be in place from one to 60 and it's not going to be scaling anymore. It's just going to stay the same all the way from one to 60. Um, the static bonus all by itself is... Uh, it's going to help people who are not able to find groups and they're just struggling along. But when you start grouping, you're going to get exponentially more experience. And even if you can just find a duo partner, you're going to get a lot more XP than you would solo. Um, so we think it's a really good system for encouraging people to meet up and group together. Now, in addition to this, uh, you guys know we hate Global OOC. Uh, but we also recognize that there's a need for it on the server. There's, we need to have some form of global communication. So we actually went, and this was part of uh, Rogan's idea here. We think it's pretty smart. Big Bear. Uh, I'm sorry, Big Bear, yes. So Big Bear had this idea. We think it's pretty smart. <laughs> and uh, basically what we're going to do is global OOC is still going to be there, but we're limiting it in a certain way. Um and we're also modifying it so that people who are looking for groups and who are looking to group with people in their area will be able to easier facilitate finding other people to group with. Uh, so that's how we're changing OOC. Um, do you want to talk about that other? Do you want to just straight up tell them what we're doing with the other thing? Or should we keep that one in our pocket? Um, we could probably... Um, hold on, let me zone. You're not in game. Hold on, let me Skype you. Um, Best music ever. What do you think? You want to reveal that now, or you yeah, want to hold could, that? Uh... I think we could tell them. We've been hinting at that for a while. Yeah, I think I think they figured it out by now. I mean, if they haven't figured it out, shame on them. So the, one of the other things we're doing, and this is actually not the end of our list of changes, but this is another one that we want to talk about. Uh, we are we, changing... We want to throw you guys a bone because we've been making you wait so long and not been able to say anything about anything. Right, right. And that's, that's been frustrating us too, you guys. Like, I know that we sit here kind of like on this fucking glass throne and we're like, well, you guys can't... Like, stop asking questions. We don't want to hear about it anymore. But, like, we only did that because it frustrated the hell out of us, too. And, like, we couldn't tell you guys anything, and we couldn't reveal anything, and we didn't like it either. And we knew you guys were upset. And even the people who were, like, diehard in support of me and Sirkin and the staff were starting to be like, well, maybe this isn't ever going to happen. Uh, so we felt bad, too, and we weren't happy. Uh, so the last thing we're going to reveal today is we're changing the level range for PvP to just be plus or minus 4, 1 to 60. Uh, so there's not going to be any more 60s griefing level 52s. Um, I shouldn't say griefing, but there's not going to be any more 60s just obliterating level 52s who have no chance to stand on their own. Uh, it's going to be plus or minus 4 the whole way through. And in addition to that, we're doing other stuff. And when all of this stuff goes live, uh, I'm not going to talk about this too much because this is the part that I'm really excited about. But we're going to bust out all the stops to really highlight these changes and get the word out there and really promote the red server. Also, I want to say for people who only play on blue that might be listening, this would be the best time to start on red. If you were ever thinking about starting on red, you're going to want to do it before Velius becomes a thing. And with these changes, you're not going to get ganked right out the bat. Um, yeah. And then for the veteran red players, we're hoping, I know their instant reaction is, well, if you cut the range in half, I lose half my targets. But if we can attract more people to the server, you'll have more targets overall. It'll just be better 
quality PvP because you won't be ganking kids eight levels below you. Yeah, definitely. You're going to actually have a challenge with the people that you fight. Uh, and keep in mind, for you level 60s, the veterans, uh, you're still going to have plenty of people to, to fight with. You know what I mean? Like, you're going to have plenty of level 56s to, to go and just steamroll. It's just not going to be as easy. You're going to have more of a challenge. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and like Sergan was just saying, if you are a blue player and you've never played on red before, uh, when we put this live, in addition to the other things that we've already done in the past and the changes that we're making now, this is a fantastic time to start on red. Uh, this, I mean, really part of the reason why we're doing all this is to get people who, two kinds of people, the people who have never tried red and have always kind of been on the fence about it. We call them purple people. Uh, trying to get the purple people who've just been kind of sitting on the edge and like, well, like red looks kind of cool, but like there's this, 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 and this that I don't like. We want to get those people to come and roll level one and see how good red can be. And then the other kind of person we're getting is, um, we actually don't have a color code for this kind of person, uh, but if it was anything, we'd probably call them black. And that shit's black. racist. <laughs> Wait, that, 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 that shit hang on, hang racist. On, hang on. <laughs> Let me change that. We're actually not going to give them a color code at all because it's just going to be a bad idea. Go back to animal types. Go back to yep. animals. I agree, well, animals. The next, the next thing I was going to say was yellow, and then I was like, wait, no, like that's not good either. I should just avoid colors altogether. Right. Just go with animals. Now, now it's um, it's a dog. Gazelles. gazelles. No, gazelles. That works perfect. Gazelle so, sounds like an animal of prey. Well, isn't that the <laughs> metaphor you've used in the past for these kinds of people? Oh, maybe it works. I didn't know what kind of people no, you were going to talk works. about. It so, for all you gazelles out there, these are the people who tried red in the past and left because of any number of reasons. And the most frequent answers we hear for people leaving in the past is, I got griefed, or OOC sucked, or I didn't like the community. Or there were not, not that I didn't like the community, but there were too many bad apples in the community, and they stood out because of global OOC. These are the kinds of people that we're trying to get to come back to Red and try it again. Because we're really going to put the effort in to make the server a better place. And the Red community has made huge strides. I mean, really, they've made a ton of progress. And you don't really see it on the forums because there's just so many trolls. But a lot of those forum trolls don't even play on Red. They're just there to be freaking assholes. That's, Most that's of them don't play on Red. Most of them don't play on red. So what you see on the forums is not an accurate representation of what the community is actually like. The red community is fantastic now. I mean, I don't think that there is a better community on, on any MU server for any game, period. I mean, they're just, they're helpful, and they're going to be there to help you out and pick you up. Like, they're going to kill you, don't get me wrong. You're going <laughs> to It's a PvP server. Like, let's be honest, you're going to get ganked. Don't trust but, anyone within four levels. No, no, just don't do that. Like, you're going to get PvP'd. And if you've got a bunch of coin on you, you shouldn't be meeting with anybody within four levels of you. But if you do get ganked, most of these people, as long as you're not going to freak out about getting killed, like, they're going to help you out afterwards. Like, you can ask them for advice on how to PvP better. Some of them even give out gear. Like, I know players that will come and gank you, and then if you just take it on the chin and say, like, hey, good fight, like, you got me, they'll give you a freaking 2K item, you know, or whatever. They'll give you some kind of gear. So the community on Red's really great. It's a lot better than it's been in the past. I know that in the past it's been really bad. Uh, but the, the community itself has made huge strides on every aspect of, of being human beings and being decent people. And if that's something that scared you away from Red in the past, when we put these changes in, that's going to be the time for you to try again. And we really want those people to give it another shot. Because EQ PvP... Maybe not the best PvP, maybe not even a game designed for PvP, but because of its open world nature and because of the way it's set up, it just creates this unique experience that you don't find anywhere else. I mean, you get the you get these intense rivalries and these great friendships, and it's just an experience like none other uh, in any MMO online. So even though the mechanics weren't designed around PvP, the game itself is more fun because of the PvP and because of what unique situations that creates. So that's my reg feel. Uh, and red guys, we're sorry it took so long. 
just things that were out of our control and things that were out of the developer's control too. I mean, I, I know that uh, the person that was originally going to code these in really cares about you guys a lot, but real life happens and, you know, there's nothing that we can do about that. There's nothing he can do about that. Yep. And and hopefully that gets taken care of and, and we'll get him back soon. But until then, we wish him the best and hope everything's good. And all of that stuff, those changes, they're coming soon. Your XP is coming back. It's not going to be what it was before, but I think you guys are really going to like it. Can uh, I ask a question about the XP? You said something about it doesn't scale or something like that. So you're saying that it's like like two times what it normally is or the whole way? The way that it's working now on Reb is there is a 100% scaling bonus. So as you get closer to level 50, it drops by 2% every level. So that by the time you get to level 50, there's no bonus. So the bonus that we're putting mm -hmm. in, we're going to have a static global bonus that doesn't change. It just stays the same from 1 to 60. And then we're also going to have a group bonus that's going to stack with the global bonus. You said 60. Did you mean 50 or is that legit? No, that's legit. It's all the way up to level 60. Well, static. hot diggity damn. Yeah, I mean, it, like I said, it's not going to be as crazy as it was before, but, like, we put a lot of thought into these numbers, and we think that you guys are going to be really, really happy with the results. Is that the only thing that's going to be XP done that we can talk about? Can we talk about the other thing? Um, what's the other thing? Isn't there a, uh, a cough, cough, group, cough, cough thing? Can you group with people in the other side, in a different zone? And still get the bonus XP. No, no. that's retarded. But isn't there a, a accumulating group thing? What are you talking about? That's literally <laughs> what. Isn't there something that gets bigger with each group member? Yeah, that's the group bonus. That's what I've been talking about this like last twenty minutes. Where mm -hmm. have you been? I'm telling. I again, I'm going back to my earlier disclaimer. That's okay. That's Wires yes. aren't to firing answer your, correctly. To answer your question, Perkins. I didn't hear the word group, so I got scared. Mm -hmm. I was to waiting for that question, key word. The group bonus <laughs> will increase exponentially as you add more group members. And even if it's just two people, you're, it's going to be worth it. Like, there is no situation with any class where grouping with that person is going to be a bad idea XP-wise. You will always get better XP if you have another person with you, even just one. Um, hmm... Nick's people are talking about you in chat. <laughs> I just seen that. That's what I was chuckling about. Nick, by the way, <laughs> you sound really clear on your mic today. Yeah, I went and stole my mic back from my daughter. Mm hmm. And what did you do <laughs> to all the frogs? Um, it's not dark yet, so they're not not chirping. Frogs are so cool. Hmm. Oh, hijinks and Gimpy Emu and Swindle nineteen sixty four. Thank you guys for hitting the follow button, too. Oh, is that a thing? That's a thing. You should hit the follow button if you haven't. Come on now. Yeah, I know. You're, <laughs> you've been around way too long. You're one of those people that I'm not 100% sure ever closed the window. <laughs> I because do. Because some people are just always there. Then shout out to Stumpy Limbs, Turbo Lump, and Tranks12 for my three follows. There you go. Go to this... Link well. your uh, page again, because you're our, you're our special guest of the week. Let these people know who you are and where they can watch you stream. I don't have any set schedule, but I stream fairly often, I think. Even on red, from level 1 all the way up to 12. I'm not scared. <laughs> Just don't go to unrest, and you'll be fine. <laughs> yes. But, um... Yeah, click that link. It's in chat. Click his follow button. He's good people. I hang out there sometimes. Other people hang out there sometimes. There's good things happening there, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> mm-hmm. I need you to read the Skype chat really fast. Like <laughs> Hold the speed on. of light. I'm not even standing at my computer right now. Not Twitch, Skype. <laughs> Skype? What did I say? I don't know. I said words. Where did you yeah. stick it? In Skype. That's Use what your eyeballs. Said. There you go. Stream. You don't get to look at. You don't get these eyeballs. But trust me when I say it's everything's gonna be okay. Um, they don't fine. need. They don't need to use that anymore. 
we need a change of the getting started guide. Uh, I have one typed up, but it needs to get the final Rogan seal of approval. Uh, if you're registering a new account on Project 1999, you no longer need to make an EQMU login. You just need a Project 1999 login server account, which you can get on the Project 1999 website. Do you, do you have a link for that thing? Actually, I do have a link. Hang on one second. Yeah. just going to grab that for you. So if Rogan is Papa Bear, does that mean Unomia is Goldilocks? Um, that actually sounds kind of strange. Uh, <laughs> here's the link you were looking for, Uber Bandit. I'm going to get that for you right now. Oh. You know me as good people. God damn it. Entertain. I have to investigate. Actually, don't use that one, Uber Bandit. This one. <laughs> uh, it's fine. Okay. I, it's one. not like I just... This Here, is, I'll ban you. That's the one you <laughs> In, uh, in chat. Because, yeah, they don't actually have to have uh, an EQ emulator account anymore. Uh, we have it all on our website. The login server account can be created from our website without an EQ emu account. This is part of what Rogan's been busting his ass on for the last six years. Terrible. The second one's bad, too. What do you mean the second one's I, bad? It was me. It was me. Oh. I copy message wrong. Okay. <laughs> Hey. Alright. Darabelle, you're not uh, in Twitch, correct? Uh, no, I'm not. Damn. I've been trolling you all night. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, no. I tried to With tell no you no reactions guys, whatsoever. I am so playing like WoW right now while I spiel on stream. <laughs> so that's why I'm not in the Twitch chat, because I finally talked somebody into coming over and playing on Emerald Dream with me, and... Um, I, I'm trying to keep up with them, and they're trying to keep up with me, so. It seems so funny hearing you talk about that you're playing WoW. I know, right? It's a, well, I was yeah. a huge fan of Vanilla WoW. Like, I loved Vanilla WoW. I thought it was great. I loved the PvP. I thought it was fantastic. Um, if the red people are still here, they're going to hate me for saying this, but I loved the Battleground. I thought that was great to people into Warsong Gulch and have them fucking kill each other to try and get a flag. Uh, Arathi Basin was even better with the capture and hold. Like, that was fantastic. I loved the world PvP. I was crazy about everything PvP related to WoW. Uh, and I didn't think the PvE was bad either. So, I was a huge Vanilla WoW fan. So, Vanilla WoW didn't have Battlegrounds in it? Yeah, it did. Yeah, War Song Sculpt was a thing. Vanilla, so Vanilla WoW Arathi is Basin. prior to the Burning Crusade. And I'm aware, but in Vanilla down. WoW, for me, all we had was South Shore running to Terran Mill back and forth all night. Right, when the game first came like I played then, too. Like, I played before they had Warsong Gulch into the original WoW, like, without the Burning Crusade. And I That's thought that was great, too. Like, I loved open-world PvP. I thought that was fantastic. Uh, I just, I liked the Battleground. Well, I thought they were both great. Hmm. The, th the thing I liked about Battleground <laughs> was if you were to go into open-world PvP, like, sometimes you would run into people who were 10 levels or 15 levels lower than you. <laughs> Which is, like, don't get me wrong, it's fun to gank some scrub sometimes, but, like, having a real challenge against a coordinated team, like, that's fun for me. When you've got the other side has 15 players, and they all are fucking on team speak, and they're all coordinating, like, heal this guy, heal this guy, everybody focus fire on that guy. Like, that's when it's challenging, that's when it's fun. Can you guys like hear me the eating? World. Like the world. Negative. Right? No, but I will say that's why if you have open world PvP in your game, you need to have level limits in your game. True. Yeah, no. Can yeah. you yeah, corp well, no. corpse I mean, camp worked, in WoW? It worked. It worked in WoW, and the reason it worked in WoW was because you only had you had two teams. It wasn't just a free for all. So if you were a level ten and some, or you were like level twenty, and some guy came into uh, Ashenvale and just ripped you apart, you was level 60, because you're on the same team, like, you can just go into pretty much any chat channel and be like, I'm getting fucking ganked by this level 60. And before you know it, you'd have 10 level 60s running into that zone to come save your ass. So that's why it worked in WoW, was because you had this team and there were all these people, you had the horde behind you, or if you were the alliance, you had the alliance behind you. <laughs> and, uh, and by the way... basically nothing for dying. By the way, the alliance bunch of fucking pussies 
on Boy. every server. On every server. I don't know what it is. Maybe just girly I, men go for Alliance, but like Horde <laughs> oh always brought the pain and Alliance never did. I don't know why. Darrow Bale. Shots fired. Yeah. Shots fired. I will back that up. You can come to Emerald Dream right now and roll your Alliance tune and meet me in the Baron and we will fight. Hmm. There, you don't know how bad I actually kind of want to do that. I played a uh, No More here. You, you kind of. Almost vanilla. You kind of sound like you're trying to describe the difference between blue and red there, too. Uh, you mean like blue is the Alliance and red's the Horde? <laughs> yeah. Is that what you're saying? I like it. Maybe? I support that statement 100%. Hmm. I, th I feel most of the blue community would not agree with that statement. That's fine. They don't have to agree. But it's a GM ruling. Like, that's the thing. Like, everything that we say is a GM ruling. So, <laughs> like, they don't have to agree with it, but they have to go along with it. <laughs> Wait, is that oh. not the way it works in real life? Like, I thought that was like... No, that's a thing. That is absolutely a thing. Okay, okay, good. As long as you back it, I think it's... Uh, Mm -hmm. so GMs are the 1% confirmed. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Did you crash? No. Oh, that's right. I'm like 60 seconds behind. You, you and you're behind. I am. I've got the worst internet service ever. It's okay. Twitch has like a 30 second delay going right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Well, uh, I'm like 30 plus 20. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that sounds horrible, Nix. Mm. Things you deal with. By ah. the way, sir, you were visible when you were in EC, in case you um, might. I might still be visible. In case you want okay. to fix that. That's okay. They can't do anything to me. I gave you a full set of buffs. I know. You ruined my fly mode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah if you uh, DMF him he will crash into the earth I think is that what you said um I might have I, I've been rambling all kinds of crazy nonsense this evening crazy nonsense is a thing that happens from time to time and I even tried to take a nap because I knew like I was going to be messing words up and, and whatnot, but that was not a thing that happened so did you stay up to analyze Game of Thrones last night? Um, I didn't need to. I, mm, I did, like, run right to YouTube and look to see if there were, like, any instant reviews. But I noticed not. you had a bunch of review on the thread on the off-topic. I made pictures, yeah. You <laughs> got crazy. Was there MSN Paint pictures? No, I, like, loaded up the actual episode on my computer and took screen um... captures and then added words in MS Paint. And was like, this is where it is here, and if you look here, it's over like this, and why is this guy here? Hmm. So that well, was I, all things. Yeah, I watched it more than once to see the, see the stuff that I potentially missed at those crucial moments when stuff was happening. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, I don't want to talk too much about it. Non-spoiler talk? Yeah, I don't yeah. want people to post spoilers, so I don't want to talk too much about it. But it was A+, plus, and if you haven't seen it, you should go see it, because it was pretty A+. Plus. Mm -hmm. Are we talking about? We're not talking about anything anymore. What are you doing, Uber Bandit? Um, well, originally, when the stream started, I was like, you know what? I'm going to sit down and miss more and do some grouping. But then I started spinning plates, helping people in the chat and being in here. So I watched some other people get XP for a bit and gave up the slot I waited an hour for. And now I'm running to go make arrows. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I spent like four hours doing trade skills in ESO earlier today. It was great. I learned how to fish. It was glorious. On ESO, <laughs> is it still poop? I don't think it's poop. I'm having a lot of fun with ESO. I'm still a noob, mm. and I'm still noobing it up, so I can't give you any kind of like legit review on it. But I'll tell you, like I don't play it for less than three hours, mm -hmm. and I don't play it for more than like six hours. I don't know, because Sounds like it from, consumes you. Um, it is. It is making the petition form get backed up a little bit. <laughs> That's I mean, everyone that I heard that's played, even the people that like have super boners for 
uh, Obsidian and all that. Um, Oblivion and Skyrim. Well, yeah, Obsidian, the company. Um, Bethesda. Like, we're like... We're Bethesda like... Bethesda didn't uh, make ESO. Zenimax made ESO. Pretty sure it's Obsidian Team, though. Um, Zenimax hasn't made a uh, Elder Scroll game before. Either way, the people that, you know, were super diehards for just the lore and series in general were like, I asked them how it's ESO, and they didn't want to talk about it. Well, I'm a pretty big lore nerd myself, and other than a couple things that just straight up don't fit, I mean, it, I don't think it affects the game. The actual game is different, and I like that. I don't know if it's good or bad. I, I can't say that yet. But it's different, and so I like different at this point. Anything different is good. That's my opinion. I'm sick of playing the same MMO with different skins. I, I saw some footage, and it looked really, personally to me, meh, when uh, there's stuff like Terra, which is a really good action-y MMO. I can't play Terra. I, what, what I is can't the play impact? games that look like that. Like, but look my like same what? problem with WoW. I can't deal with cartoony looking graphics. Terra's a realistic style. I'm not it's sure what you're talking not, about. Okay. It's not but that did realistic. you play Minecraft? Except for the boot size. Um, Minecraft? I've, I don't play Minecraft. I've seen oh. Terra oh, she's a lot. About your and I, 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 I cannot play that game. Are you? Minecraft I mean, great, by the way. I, I, I um, legit so don't serious, see what the cartoony angle you're going for. I would seriously rather put a bullet through my head than play Terra. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Shots fired. Yeah. Literally. That's, well, hopefully not. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, that's how I feel about it. Like, I would much rather play ESO than Terra. So, like, I mean, I had fun. I don't know. Like, I like, I do dumb shit in, in, like, Oblivion and Skyrim. Like, I'm that guy who actually reads all the books, and I can tell you, like, which bookcases have which genre of stories. I can tell you exactly where the lusty Argonian maid is. Um, like I can tell you the histories of the tribunal and Talos and and Akatosh and and I can I, I know this shit and uh, and right now I'm just really nerding out on gathering trade skills and I heard another streamer uh, uh, one kill quota the guy with the giant beard. He had this brilliant idea where he uses his alternate or uh, his alt, his other character slots. They're just fucking mules for holding materials so that he can go fucking crazy on trade skilling. And I was like, I'm going to do that. That sounds like a great idea. And um, so that's what I've been doing. I have one alt for like clothing and blacksmithing and one alt for provisioning and something else. And then alchemy and enchanting is somewhere. And it's nice, because one shitty thing is that your bank is shared amongst all your characters, and it's limited. So I have 60 total spots in the bank for everybody. And that sucks, but I can just put shit on alts, and boom, now I have seven <laughs> banks. It's pretty A+. Plus. Um, so if you had to give it a review right now, if we put a gun to your head and we said, give us a fucking review out of ten... What would you give it? I'd and say, you, can, you can use decimals, so you can do like here's a 2.9. I'll, I'll give you a, a review on levels 1 to 10, and I'll tell you that the first 10 levels are kind of hand-holdy if you want it to be, but if you just have that Elder Scrolls urge to just skip all the bullshit and just jump into Tamriel and do things, you can do that. You'll get fucking owned. Because it is an MMO, so things aren't scaled to your level across the world. But um, you can skip the whole Starter Island, which was one of the last things they did in beta. Um, you have this like kind of instance thing where you run through this bullshit, and you get a weapon, and you do some stupid fight. It basically tutorial. It shows you how the interaction with NPCs is, how to fight, blah, blah, blah. And then you go to the Tutorial Island, which is like Newbie Island, which is where most people were in beta. And up until like the last three weeks or four weeks of beta, you couldn't skip that. Now you can skip it. Are okay. there random level 12 I didn't hear any numbers. 
Yeah, I didn't hear any numbers. Oh. Did he just completely avoid my fucking business question? Because I'm pretty sure I thought like he was buying time for backup to arrive and get the gun away from his head. God damn it. So when your just fall asleep. No, you're still held hostage, buddy. Like, you still have a magnum to your face right now, and we need a number. All right, all right. I would say <laughs> if you're playing it with a friend or multiple friends, it's a solid, like, 8.3 out of 10. But if you're playing it by yourself and you're not socializing, it's going to be like probably a seven or even a six and a half out of ten. Ooh. Yeah. Like I so, can see so where. So good, good, but not great. Yeah. I have someone that I've been playing ESO with. And when I'm playing with them, I have a lot of fun. If I do anything that involves other people, I have a lot of fun. But I noticed that when I log off, it's usually because I just spent like 45 minutes doing a bunch of shit by myself, and I got bored, and I don't want to play anymore. Um, is that why you've been trade skilling for the last 24 hours? <laughs> well, the trade skilling thing is because I heard one kill quota's idea for the alts, using them as banks, and I was like, oh my god, I'm going to do that. And so I just started using all the materials I had, because I have accumulated a lot of shit. See, see, that sort of description leads me to believe that it's one of those games that you're going to burn out on really quickly. Maybe. Or not quickly, but it sounds like when it's like, I don't actually, I like playing with my friends. I don't want to solo. That's I'm enjoying my friends, not I'm enjoying the game. Mm, but see, I like playing the, like I've played with strangers yeah. too. Like earlier right. today, I was doing a mission. Good. Yeah, earlier yeah. today, I was doing a quest where I had to assassinate this guy and I knew there was just no way I was going to be able to kill this guy because it's in this tiny little room with no escape, and I'm a caster, so I can't just get in this guy's face. I, I have not put any effort into any weapons, and so I'm very squishy and bad in close quarters. And so I just waited for the, another person to show up, and then I saw one more about the same time, and the three of us went in there, and we chit-chatted a little bit. The guy showed up, we murked him, and we all went our separate ways. But... If you're in, like, I still play Skyrim, and I still love Skyrim, and if you are the type of person who's going to read all the quests and get into all that shit, you're going to like ESO. If you're the type of person who wants to min-max and run out and get add-ons to make it, like, wow, and just skip through all the dialogue and race to max level, you're probably going to have a bad time. I also, I have a problem with just, like, quest based leveling in general it's been the trend in mmos ever since wow did it and i would much rather prefer a way that didn't involve quests. these are i will say these are fun quests i've only had there's like, there's two, no such thing to me no i've only had two quests that were like go out <laughs> and get 10 of these like you're constantly every quest line is this in-depth story and you're constantly moving the story along with everything you do it's lots of fighting. It's very little gather shit. And if you gather shit, you only need two or three of them. So, so is it? Uh, like are you the don't, you quests, don't, is there wikis? Uh, not yet, really. But you don't feel like an errand boy, I guess. Like in a lot of MMOs, I feel like these NPCs errand boy, where they're like, "Go out and mm -hmm. get me these. Go out and kill ten of these. Go out and get ten wolf pelts." And like, that shit's boring, but, like, I'm really into the story, and I'm nerding out pretty hard when I get into it. Hmm. Need better ways to make money. <laughs> That's what I learned, too. I am poor as shit. I am bad at saving money. Do they have, like, an auction house sort of system, or is it more free world trading, or...? It's this weird combination that I haven't seen in play yet. Basically, guilds can set up their own stores. There's no global auction house. But guilds can set up their own stores if that guild happens to own either a fort or a resource or some kind of thing in Cyrodiil. Once you own one of those as a guild, you can set up a shop there. And then people can buy and sell from your guild store. Right, right. And can they ride on your boat? Um, there aren't boats in ESO. That's one thing that is strictly exclusive to uh, Boat Simulator, the MMO. So, that's my ESO rant.
<laughs> it's much more actually, fun to play with people. It's I I see. There's actually there's a lot of MMOs coming out that look like they could actually go somewhere. Um, there's the ESO, and obviously people are waiting for EverQuest next to be a thing, which I still just don't hold hope because at worst I'm pleasantly surprised. Um, I've had a friend who's been raving about something made by NCSoft called Wildstar. Um, you wouldn't like yeah. it because it's it's wild cartoony style actually um i don't like it because all of the hit boxes for things so it's terra light combat except your hit boxes draw geometry on the ground so like say you you're like a warrior dude and you have a you know like a slash that hits things in front of you you'll see like a fucking trapezoid on the ground in front of you and it'll fill and when it fills the attack goes off and that's not a beta thing like that's a no that's that's a mechanic interesting yeah, and, I remember yeah. hearing about Wildstar when it was first, like, first, first being developed. Um, and it looked interesting. I, I like the setting. The setting, for people that don't know, is kind of like a, it's like a pseudo sci-fi fantasy. Uh, which is cool. I like that, that kind of world where it's, uh, the line between fantasy and science fiction is blurred. Um, I didn't really see anything that stood out about it, though, was my issue. It just, it seemed like it was almost like, uh, it almost seemed like it was a wow in space. But like, I only, the only time I saw it was really early on, really early on in development, like when it was first announced. So my, my opinion could change if I go and look at it again. You kids and your opinions. Well, I got nothing else and I got some things I got to do. So I think I'm just going to call this one a night. Yeah, that sounds good. That works. Um, that, did, I like I said, I haven't been in the Twitch chat. What did the the red players? What did their feedback sound like when we? Oh, were they think we're pieces of shit. That's a plus. Mm -hmm. That's a, I don't think it, they as, said that. I didn't really <laughs> read either, but I just that's my default assumption. I so. like it. I like it. Um, <laughs> Sergey, when you can, I told, I posted on the red forums. I let everybody know that I would give them a queued up YouTube link uh, as soon as the stream went live on YouTube. So whenever you got that up, let me know so I can post that thread. Hmm. All right. Darabelle. Yes. And you can be reached at GM Darabelle at just the tip.com. Is that correct? It's, it's actually, it's just Darabelle at just the tip.com. Oh, okay. My mistake. Thank you. If someone wants to put a link in chat for me. I'd appreciate that. Um, <laughs> I got I you. only accept, I only accept, well, actually, you know what, I take the back. I'll accept nudes of anybody at darebale at justthetip.com. Hmm. <laughs> that is a dangerous can of worms you just opened, sir. Well, that's okay, because it's not an actual email. <laughs> what if it was somebody's email? That would be pretty funny. Well, that, that would be very strange. As far as I know, I'm the only darebale. I take that back. There's a darebale on League of Legends that's not me. Hmm, I wonder if it's someone that stole your name from here. It could be. That could be. That could be a thing. I heard there's a Cirkin on the easy server. Uh, I think that's me. <laughs> I heard yeah. I heard about some Cirkin no, guy. that's Nick, actually, I think. <laughs> oh, that's Nick. God damn it. You stole my name. <laughs> I remember that night when you guys made those characters. <laughs> that was that hilarious. Was that was fun. Yeah, we didn't let dumb things like the server being down stop us from having a good time. Yep. All right. Well, well. Uh, what would you, Rayum, right? <laughs> Rayom. Rayom. I'll get it one day. It's you know oh. now I'm hearing it, so it's different. But uh, Rayum. Exactly. But thank you very much for coming on stream this evening. It was a pleasure having you. Throw your link one more time in chat for these fine people. Go to twitch.tv slash, um, I think it's R-H-E-A-U-M-E-P-9-9. <laughs> no. Nope. Nope. Don't go there. Don't know who that is. <laughs> it, it's linked in chat. Baron has <laughs> it's on been it. linked. Thank you for having me. Uh, it's been a pleasure, sir. David Bale, say goodnight to these fine people. Good night, fine people. Thanks for uh, watching and listening, as always. Uh, special thanks to our red people who showed up to uh, get special infos that insider infos yes um nick say good night to these people good night everybody thanks for listening thanks for having me guys and and bandit of uberness
Um, good night, people. Hijinx support forum is the best I have, unless one of these two GMs knows why there's an issue with the login. Um, but I think support forum or PM, and you guys can work it out. That's all I got. You're all beautiful. <laughs> You're all very beautiful people. Uber Bandit loves you deep in his heart of hearts. Separately, but equally. We hey, like blood. the dragons better. Hmm. All right. Dragons All have right. big feet. You don't have to say about big feet. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys. Uh, real quick before you turn uh -oh. this off. Um, to the person that's having an issue with the login server, if you're still listening, uh, as far as I know, there's nothing wrong with the registration or the login server itself. Um, you're going to hate me for saying this, but chances are when you registered the account, you made a typo in your password. So now when you're trying to enter your password, you're entering the wrong one. Uh, I would suggest making a different login server account than the one you just made and making really sure you type in the password correctly. And that's all I got. Go ahead and play us out. All right. Well, thanks for watching and make sure you hit the follow button if you haven't. It'll let you know when we're streaming again. And that way you won't miss anything. It'll let you watch on your iPhone or your Android device. And www.project1999.com. Go there and do big things. Uh, that's it. I'll see you guys.